Morning everybody, Jeff from Rose Rocket Valley. Welcome back to the garage. We are on a service call today in Harbor City, California, where we have a 2017 uh, Honda Civic, and it's got about 32,000 miles on it and some change. Um, the vehicle is exhibiting multiple symptoms. Um, the most notable one is the dash is lit up like a Christmas tree. And second off, we have a real good miss on one of the cylinders. We went ahead and we hooked up the engine computer, uh, our little Altec checker, and we take a look at the dash. So we have, um, it's not turned on right now, but we have the, the illustrious check engine light or the money light on. We also have an ABS light, and we also have a traction control light. Um, generally, when you have a bunch of lights on or a bunch of problems at one time, um, I found that the easiest one to troubleshoot a lot of times will take and give you insight into the rest of what's going on. So after getting all the codes, which we had misfire on number four cylinder, uh, which seemed to be the easiest one to take and troubleshoot, we decided to take and go out and take a look at the engine compartment and see what's going on with that. So, uh, first thing, when we took and opened the hood, uh, back in this area here, there was about a seven inch rat that was there. So uh, we right immediately figured that something had been chewed upon. Um, in looking at the different wiring looms, most of the wiring looms have the corrugated plastic protector on there. So generally when the, um, the animals attack the wiring, it's, um, it's impervious to them. They don't really chew on that. So in kind of looking around, we saw this right here before we even took the cover off. Okay, so I went ahead and removed the four 10 millimeter bolts that hold the, uh, the protective cover for the high voltage coils. And this is the only part of the, um, the wiring loom that is unprotected. Okay, so obviously since this is chewed off so close to the connector, um, there's not enough wire right here to take and cut that back and repin it. And there's also damage back here too as well. So what we did is we went on our favorite store, Amazon, not a sponsor, and we got a new pigtail. Okay, so what we're going to do is we are going to um, take some of this wiring harness back to about right here to take and give us uh, some working room and we're going to take in and split this insulation back down and then we're just going to take and replace this connector here and um, it'll uh, it'll take and fix a problem we'll go ahead and use a running splice um, to take and do that we'll solder all the connections and then we'll take and put a piece of heat shrink on it and then put everything back together and we'll also take a short piece of um, corrugated plastic and put it around this corner right here since this is only uh, the only part of the wiring loom that's exposed we don't want this problem to take and, and recur okay so uh, we'll use a running splice we'll take and put the heat shrink on there and we'll put this back in then don't forget that when the engine is running incorrectly there's something going on with it it just upsets the whole system and it's not unusual to take and set multiple codes. So the ABS code and the traction control code should go away, but um, we're going to take and go in with our computer and we're going to take and reset all that. This is really unusual case because a couple of days ago, the customer took this 
down to San Diego and everything was running fine and they parked the car and then the next morning they came out and the engine is missing and the dash is lit up. So, you know, it, it doesn't take long for uh, rodents to take and do their damage to these vehicles. Okay, and of course they will take and do it in the most nefarious manner. You won't have any idea what's going on. Anyway, I hope I've given you some good information on how to take and, and troubleshoot these things. So we'll go in and resettle the codes and everything, and everything should be perfect. Okay, uh, I hope you have a wonderful day, and thanks for stopping by. We'll see you next time.